Okay, so this is a quick introduction to um, the way MOPE works and more importantly how it prepares files to use in MOL. So at the moment you're looking at uh, a browser which has got MOL running in it and I've actually got a sample module here, 6049, and you'll see that there is um, a table of contents in the middle column and then on the right there are some various pictures. Um, links to files and this is uh, me in as an instructor with the edit mode on as you can see there and if I click on one of these such as defining health policy you will see something like this. this is an example of a mope page so this is a page of HTML that's been created using mope but it's now living and being served from within a mole module. So this one here you can see it's got things like the study time in the top left, it's got a tutor says box here with Amy Barnes talking uh, or it's, uh, sending a message to the students, various reading, it's got an activity box and it's got this footer here with drop down bits. So it's obviously all the sort of standard features that you'd see in a mote page. And I'm going to show you exactly um, how you build one of these into mole in this screencast. So when you create um, pages of content using Mope, what it actually does is it creates HTML files and it puts them in a folder on the end drive that you've all got access to. So if you go to the end drive and go to General, there's a folder called Mope Pages, okay? And inside there you'll see there's a list of subfolders, each with the module code name. So if I go to, um, for example, 6049 here uh, and open that up, you'll see within there I've now got a nice structure, I've got a subfolder for each of the week, 12 weeks within that module. Uh, and if I look um, at week 1 for example, you'll see a list of files and the one I was just looking at previously was um, it was um, defining health policies, it was one of these files. So you'll notice there's basically a collection of HTML files here. Once you've created these with Mope, and the way you get them into Mole is by uploading them to the content collection. In order to do this, if you go back to Mole, um, make sure your edit mode is on, and scroll down to the control panel, or just underneath where it says Content Collection. And for every module, if you click on that, for every module you'll get a few different um, links. The top one is the Module Specific Content Collection, this one with a strange code. So I'm going to click on that. And then what you will see is uh, on the right a list of files and folders. And this is where it's like a folder directory where you can upload the files to before you link to them in Mole. So you'll notice I've already uploaded a lot of stuff here, mainly using the module content folder. You can create new folders in here if you like. But I try to use um, this folder structure to mimic as, as accurately as possible the folder structure that you see on the end drive for each module. So we've got 12 week folders there on the end drive. Similarly, currently we've only built a few, but it, um, ultimately we will have 12 week folders in here too. So I go into week one, you'll see there should be some files inside here. There we go. So that's how you get your, f your files into the content collection. And the final thing is how do you actually link to the, to the files in the content collection? Well, you go to your module content area, um, you go to the weekly area, so in this case if just for an example if I go back to week one, this is currently unavailable to the students but this is the, I'm just demonstrating the process. Here's a list of files, if you wanted to add another file in you just go build content file, okay, and it will always put this at the bottom of the existing list, just be aware of that. And then uh, you get this kind of um, dialog box, it asks you for a name, before you put the name and I tend to just browse the content collection to find the file. So at this point you go to the modules content collection, you click on module content, you'll see the weeks, if I go I want to build a, a week one page in, you select the, the week, so supposing I wanted to add this, now it's already been added this one but I'm just demonstrating the point, and you'll see down here that it's, um, it's linked to the HTML file, you give it a name, this would probably be called applying your learning, you can call it something else if you like and then you click submit, I'll delete this in a minute because um, um, it will be un unnecessary for the current students when they come to study here but you'll notice now at the bottom of this list you will have something called applying your learning and you can drag these up and change the order however for, the, for now I'm going to just delete this because it was just an example to show you how that worked Okay.